Hello and welcome to a special episode of our Python tutorial series on object-oriented programming. So far we've seen what object-oriented programming is, how it works, how classes are structured, and how to develop them in Python. But today we will see one last trick. Classes are not only used to structure code, but can also be implemented as a container for variables. So, for example, we can create an empty class called employee by writing class employee and then saying pass. Now you can see that we haven't added any attributes or methods to this class. It's just an empty placeholder. Now to use our class, we need to create an object. Let's call our employee John and say that he is equal to employee. Now remember, because of the special property of classes and objects, John has automatically inherited all of the attributes and methods contained in the employee class, except that employee is empty, so John also has no attributes or methods. But here is where we can add variables. So, say we need to memorize a few details about John for use in our code later, we could say John.name equals John Smith. Then, similarly, we could say John.department equals Computer Lab. So we can say that John works in the computer lab. We can then say John.job equals lab technician. So we know that John is a lab technician inside of the computer lab. And finally, John.salary equals a thousand. So, as you can see, we have now saved some attributes to the John object. While this may be simple in principle, it is actually a really good method to use for storing data without losing it, and also ensuring that it stays all contained within one place, namely the object we have just created. So, if ever later on in the code, imagine this is a very complex piece of code with thousands and thousands of lines, if ever we needed to refer back to these particular variables, we know that they are contained within a single object called John. With that, I hope you enjoyed this neat little trick about classes and objects. As usual, don't forget to check out my previous videos and make sure to show your support by subscribing to the channel. I look forward to seeing you all next week, and until then, happy coding!